Percent problems. Are those like meatball problems? No, Snooky. We're not going to get snookered by this translation because we need only know three things. What do we need to know? We need to know is is equal. We need to know of is times. And we need to know percent is one over 100. Anyway, that last part will kind of just go by that because we know how to do percents. Just go to that one spot in the back of your head. Or go to my percent to decimal video. So let's go, let's go, da da do do. We need to um, translate this. What do I mean? When I see the word what, what do I put? I put x. What was is? Is is equal. So then we put equal. This is direct translation. How do we write 26% as a decimal? Well, we go to the one spot in the back of our head, but since we have all this room, why don't I put 26%? What does of mean? Of means times. So it's times 480. You ready? You ready? You ready? We're almost done. It's direct translation. Is equal of times. That's all you really need to know. What? X. So then X is equal to, how do we rewrite 26% as a decimal? Well, um, I go to that one spot in the back of my head and I move it not one but two. So this is 0.26 times 480. So then we pound that out and we're about to find that that is 124.8. Great. Yeah. Box and flower. So if we wanted to know what 26% of 480 is, it's 124.8. Great. And for my next example, it was supposed to be like pulling something out of my sleeve, but my sleeve is up here, so I guess it would be like... 140% of what number is 315, so we go with direct translation, 140% of what was of, of was times, times what number, whenever I see what number, I'm going to put x, but wait, what is, 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 is that equals what? 315. Finish him. Yeah, finish him! I need to turn that percent into a decimal first. So then here, wham, I go to that one spot in the back of my head, converting decimals to percents. Go ahead, look that up. It's two to the one, two, to the left, to the left, uno punto cuatro times x is equal to 315. We're trying to find out what 140% of 315 is. Perhaps we bought an item for 315 and then we're going to resell it on eBay or something and we wanted to mark it up 40%, so we wrote 140%, so we wanted to see what price we'd list. Ready? Finish him. A little bit of division in our lives. 1.4 divided by 1.4. And then we pound that out, and it turns out that 140% of what number? Remember that eBay example I just spewed? Blah! Spewed it all wrong. 140% of what number is 315? This is a discount. So don't discount that last. Anyway, just go with it. 225. Yes. 140% of 225 is 315. What happened? We wanted to increase this number, so we bought something for 225. If we wanted a 40% margin, we needed to multiply it by 1.4, and that's how we sold it for 315. Sold to the next example. You ready? You ready? You ready? What are you doing? Hmm. My other camera is acting up. So, let's go to this. Bam! What percent of 48 is 96? Let's go. Let's go. So, what percent? Here I'm going to use P. Of is times 48 is 96. Finish him. I'm really worried about my other camera. It's over there freaking out. So then... Finish him. I divide this side by 48. I divide this side by 48. Great. 
And then my P turns out to be 2. But wait a minute. It needs to be a percentage. So how do I convert that decimal into a percent? My percent is 200%. Because I went to that one spot in the back of my head. And I put those guys in there. Yeah. Box and flower. I hope my other camera's not done.